Right. There was there was there was nothing. Right. And I I don't feel like I've made a. Are you all right? How much money are you making over there? <laughs> She's like hundred million, two hundred, <laughs> five hundred million. What is this? I know. Make Forty seven cents. That's right. Poor education. woman doesn't wear <laughs> shoes. <laughs> How many people you got working on this show? Uh, we got ten. Ten people. Ten people total. On this show. Yeah, we got. Uh, who do we got? Yeah. And is it going? Are you happy you came here? I love it. You love it. I love it, and literally. I tune in, and I see you getting looser and looser with it. I can't believe it. The first week that we were on the air, I was like, "Okay, I hope I'm alright." By the third month, like last month, I was like, "This is the greatest gig in the world." It's fantastic. And you get to interview anyone you want and talk about anything, and nobody is there to say, "Don't say this" or "Don't." You don't hear from anyone. It's kind of scary in a way. As someone who was over managed and over program director, suddenly nobody even comments on what I'm doing. It's good though. All right, everybody's You're still free. awake? Everyone's okay. awake, yeah, oh. they're awake. Yeah, I am but, now, but Jeannie grew up right near us, you know. Where'd like you so. Up? Well, I'm from Comac with Ro. Oh, Comac. Yeah. yeah, but we had the Comac's same... Comac's upscale. Comac's for, for rich people. You think so? From, from where you were? From where oh, I was, Compared yeah. to Roosevelt. That's near yeah. Laurelton, right? Yeah. yeah. Roosevelt's bad. Yeah, I know Roosevelt. Yeah, nobody has anything. Yeah, and your mom was depressed your whole childhood, right? Oh, yeah, pretty much so. Yeah. Yeah. And when I heard you talk about that recently, I was thinking about uh Well, you should myself. see how my father bangs her. Of course she was depressed. <laughs> Good night. Good night. Goodbye, everybody. <laughs> so, so listen. So wait you, a second. What? So you went to Chicago yesterday? Uh, I did it on Thursday. Uh, and Rosie and yesterday. I. And you flew there? I flew there on a regular old uh, American Airlines no plane. No private jet. No, no. But for you and me and Conan, honey, I, I, I can't you. believe you said no. I know. Uh, Rosie was very gracious. I was on the fence about going out to California and doing Conan's uh, last show. Which they asked you to do. That's a big honor. They asked me to do it. Yeah. And it was one of the last shows. So, you know, I don't know exactly what day they right. were in, in, involved there. So, you know, I thought, wow, we, I could go on and really make things great. Yes. I would really attack Jay Leno. Yeah. You know how I feel. I, I know. know how you feel. Yeah. And but then I was like, well I don't want to go all the way out to California and you know and do the Jay the the, the Coleman thing and all that. But then Rosie wrote me an email and said, listen, I'm gonna get us a plane. Yeah. I got a hundred million dollars. <laughs> That's right. And so do you by the way. But uh, you can get the snacks. That's right, but, but I feel like I have nothing so you I know. I'll talk you through it. I wouldn't have let you get the plane. But she said, Hey, if you want, I'll go with you. Yeah. And we'll double team Conan. Wouldn't that be something? Now that would have been legendary. Like even if you just would have like said, uh, I brought a friend and you would have called me out and I just would have said Jay sucks. Every time you pointed at me, that's all I would have said. It would have been great. It would have been funny. And your story, I, I've told Rosie this and I'm gonna tell her in private why uh, the Jay Le her Jay Leno story meant a lot to me. Uh, because um, uh, Rosie's take on it was very unique, why she hates Jay. I'm, I did this on the show and I'm not going to go through it again. But I think you would have been really great sitting there and telling Conan why, uh, why Jay is such a scumbag. Mm -hmm. And in fact, today in the Wall Street Journal, there's an article comparing, did you see this? To Hitler. Com comparing Jay Leno to Hitler. Yes. And, uh, and coming in and annexing all of Czechoslovakia. Right. So uh, this is, this is going to take hold. Now, Jay is going on Oprah Thursday to, I heard that. to beef up his, his image. I know. And I really hope Oprah does not sit there and suck up to him. I hope she asks him some tough questions, but I don't hold out any hope. Well, I don't know that he'd answer anyway, because I don't think he's that introspective. I think he really kind of believes the press that he's saying. Like, he did that whole mea culpa on the air, and he's like, so, uh, like, let me just tell you guys what happened. Uh, uh, so, yeah, I mean, I, they said to me, uh, go in prime time, and, and I said, it's not a good idea, but, but I did it, because I'm a team player. A and then they said, hey, 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 you, you know, you want to go back to, I'm like, if you need me to do that, if you need... Come on, why don't you just take the food off his plate? Right. You know, it's like, Jay, you're at the all-you-can-eat buffet. Right. If you want more shrimp, go up to the shrimp bar. Don't take it off Conan's plate. Rosie's evolved in the sense that she understands that uh, you don't have to have everything in this world. You can share The Tonight Show with other people. Exactly. You don't have to have everything. And that is very evolved. That's what I'm learning in therapy. But yeah, every day, right? You but go every you day? See, yeah, well, not every day, but you seem to have that. Now, so when you went on Oprah, the yeah. big thing was the new girlfriend. Well, yeah, that was one thing, yeah. And I think it's moving fast. You think it's too fast? Well, I don't know. I, I'm yeah. asking you. It seems to be moving fast. She's already talking about moving into your place. Yeah, well, you know, we have a bunch of houses up there. You're in luck. I'm in love. Oh, my God. It's nice, Howard. This is and you know, I was not really excited about the whole dating thing. Remember, I was like, I'm not going to date. 
I've never dated. Ask Jeannie Weenie. I'm one of those lesbians, you know, you meet somebody, you like them, you see, you fall in love, you stay. And your image was that you were partying, you were having six and seven lesbians Only to night. you! <laughs> you were the only one who had that image! I heard you were orging. Oh, dear God, honey. I heard you were in hotels orging at the Four Seasons okay. in California. Jeannie Weenie, <laughs> who's known me since I started having sex to begin, have I ever in my life had a one-night stand even? You don't do short-term. I long don't. Term, I'm long-term yeah. commitment. I saw a picture of the woman, attractive woman. Beautiful. Very yes, beautiful. Indeed. Very different than Kelly. Yes. A whole different. different type for yes, you. Yes, indeed. And who knew? I knew. I thought it all had to be blondes no, and the whole no, thing. No, 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 no. So you, this, listen. I'm getting this in bits and pieces. I'll did take you, the whole thing. You ask me whatever you need to know. Did you get this uh, on Oprah? Did you get it all out on Oprah? No, because she was uh, not She's the way time. you do it. You tell did me. What you do you? Tell I know what you need to know. Go ahead. <laughs> did we use the symbian? I don't yeah, know. That's yeah, what no. you want to know. We're get, where all is right. the symbian that I sent you? It's actually as a footrest in my studio in Nyack, <laughs> and we had to hide the attachments. Thank you very much. You and your new girlfriend will not try the symbian together. I don't think we will. However, Why? if we do. Why not? I'm being serious now. All right, I'm telling you the truth. Why not incorporate the symbian into your sex life? to you, the Panasonic Magic Wand is too powerful for the average woman. Right. I feel as though it could numb vital organs down there. <laughs> and I feel the symbiont. I have a magic wand. But it's not great. The pocket rocket for a woman is the most That's, appropriate you're thing. You are totally right. That's right. But I feel the symbiont is like the magic wand times ten. But and it, would, you, it may you explode me internally or something. I sent you a symbiont and you never sat on it or tried it. I have had my feet on it every single show. I turn the vibration on sometimes. You have all the attachments. We've looked at them. But Howard. The some are for insertion and some of them are... I, uh, are external. I've seen them. I thought, what is this? this sit looks like on a, the damn thing and tell me how it is. One looked like a chia pet. What was that one? That could impale you. I don't know, but what you need to do, right yeah. on the air, you sit on it and yeah. tell people how you feel on your show. Believe me, this All right. Well, you know, I'm pretty sure that Deirdre or Helene would do that. Wouldn't you both? I'm sure they would. Come on, girls. Let's get our clothes off and get yeah. on the show. Yeah. You everybody. first. Yeah. Now, Helene Howard. Helene okay. has some good sex stuff, if you have any sex. No, I don't. Yeah, she's got the hot young boys. She's got a, my you age. you got a killer body. Yeah, Thank she's you. 47 years old. No, and 49. 49. She bangs 49, the 20 you look good. two-year-olds. Oh, no, no kidding. I don't. 24. How old 28. is this? Uh, 28, I'm sorry. Where do you meet a 28-year-old? Where did you meet this guy? Um, well, I played his mother in a film. <laughs> oh, no kidding. Oh, you're an actress. Very nice. Hair and makeup, acting, documentary filmmaker. Good for you. Yeah, she's, yeah. she's got it you're going on. You're the kind on. of powerful woman I like. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I like a powerful woman. Someone who can take care of me. Yeah, Beth could do that, can't you? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so, wait, get back to this, because okay, I'm so fascinated. No, Symbian, no. Not right. yet. If we do it, I will let you know. I'm shocked that you haven't tried it, and I hear it is the greatest orgasm for a woman ever. Like, yeah. I, even if you don't insert, but just sit on it. But aren't you afraid it's going to ruin your whole life? Well, first of all, I wouldn't give it to any woman that I'm with. I yeah, see, you room. know. But for you, it would be great. But it's kind of like if you go into Vegas, you know, and you put down a quarter on roulette and you win $10 million, the rest of your life is going to suck. That's true. Because it's never going to be as good as that one time. All right, let me get, let me get back to this. You, right. you flew to Oprah. Yes, flew to Oprah. Uh, to promote the special. Yes, the okay. documentary. Okay, documentary. Yeah. And uh, then uh, she kind of glossed over the home and girlfriend thing. Did you say to her... I, because you said it on my show, you yeah. feel like not, not that she's necessarily a lesbian, but she has all the signs. Her and Gail are well, ridiculously close. I don't think she's going downtown. I don't think she's been to the Holland Tunnel. I don't think she has an easy pass. <laughs> okay. That's hardcore. That's hardcore. But I do think that you know the, she's her emotional friend. Yeah, she's her biggest connection. I think now More I don't so know. Than with Stedman. But I don't know because you see the pictures of her and Stedman up in the the little pa palace in you know California. Montecito. There you go, and it seems as though they seem to be, I don't know. Did you ask her if she still has relations with Stedman? No, do you think I should have? You should have brought Right in the you. beginning? Can you imagine if I went out with Rosie? <laughs> that would have been good. Oh, she hates me. Does she bro. hate you? Oh, hate or did you do horrible things to her like you did to me? Yeah. Oh, you did. Worse. Worse? worse? Yeah. Did you kind. call her pumpkin head? Uh, worse. Oh, what'd worse. you call her? Well, I, I don't even remember. Okay, I mean, good, I for said, something. No, no, it's just that um, there are times that she just angers me. I, I also respect her. I read Oprah Magazine. I'm a you subscriber. Do. Yes, you I do. enjoy it. Yes, I don't totally hate Oprah. I got it. Now, I but there are things that are funny about Oprah and the well, whole cult of Oprah. Right, because she's bigger than she even knows. We talked about fame a little bit. We talked about how, you know, fame is a drug and what happens. And she was saying that she didn't feel she was affected by it so much. And I kept saying, well, wait till you quit. But because what, but what that'll I, be a different feeling. But why I fell in love with you is because you, your honesty came through. When you came out and you took on the world and you were just controversial, honest person, I said, this, I love this Rosie. Yeah, but that's and after Oprah I left my show. True, but you, you, you left the show. Oprah hasn't really become real. Like, you couldn't say to her on that show, 
Oprah, what's going on with you and Stedman? You can't, why is that? Who is this woman that yeah, we can't yeah. say that? She right. can't come clean with that. What is that? It's an odd thing that well, she's, Stedman. Well, she's, there's a deification that's happened to her, right? right? She's, she's like Jesus. In a way, she's held up. She's one of the spiritual leaders of the nation. In pop culture, she is. Deepak Chopra, her. I mean, people get their spiritual fulfillment from what she tells them to do and read and be. She's like, I have rosary beads blessed by Oprah. You